welcome to today's lesson on adding and subtracting fractions. Today I'm going to teach you how to add and subtract fractions with like denominators. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we begin today, let's discuss what a fraction is. A fraction is part of a whole. So on the screen you see that we have one whole fraction bar. Now this fraction bar has been divided into four equal parts. So we have divided this fraction bar into fourths. So each fourth is a fraction of the whole. So let's say we wanted to shade in one fourth of the fraction bar. We would shade in one of the four pieces. If we wanted to shade in two fourths of the fraction bar, we would shade in two of the four pieces. And if we wanted to shade in three fourths of the fraction bar, we would shade in three of the four pieces. So remember, a fraction is part of a whole. The focus of our lesson today is to add and subtract fractions. So let's start by using the fraction bar that we already have on our screen. Our fraction bar shows three fourths. Now we are going to add three fourths plus two fourths. In order to do that, we need to draw another fraction bar. So now we have two fraction bars that are both split into fourths. And we already have three fourths shaded in. So now we need to add two fourths to the three fourths that we have shaded in. So let's go ahead and let's shade in two fourths in our second fraction bar. We have one fourth, two fourths. That was pretty simple. Now all we need to do is add up how many shaded squares we have. So we have one, two, three, four, five fourths shaded in in all. So that means that three fourths plus two fourths is equal to five fourths. Now you won't always have pictures to add fractions with. So if you don't have pictures, then you can start by looking at the denominators of the numbers that you're adding. In order to add the numerators, you need to make sure that the denominators are the same. So our first step is to make sure that we're adding fourths with fourths. And since our denominators are the same, we're going to keep our denominator fourths, because each of our pieces is still the same size, and then we're going to add our numerators, three plus two equals five. Now that we've talked about adding fractions, let's try subtracting fractions. As you can see, we have one whole on the screen. This whole is divided into six parts, and we have five of these six parts shaded in. If I were to ask you to subtract four sixths from five sixths, how would you complete it? Well, our first step, we need to shade in four sixths of our shaded parts that we're going to be subtracting. So we have five sixths shaded in, and I'm going to take away one sixth, two sixths, three sixths, four sixths from our whole. And that leaves me with one sixth left over. So if I started with five sixths, and then I take away four sixths, that leaves me with one. And just like addition, you won't always have a fraction bar to use. So if you're just subtracting the two fractions, you first need to make sure that your denominators are the same. And since we're dealing with sixths, five sixths minus four sixths, we are going to keep our denominator the same because we're not changing the size of our pieces, and we're going to subtract the numerators. 5 minus 4 equals 1 sixth. Let's go ahead and practice a few problems together. I have a diagram for you on the screen with two fraction bars. I want you to add the two numbers and write it as a fraction. As you can see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 parts in the whole, so we're going to be adding fifths. 1 fifth, 2 fifths, 3 fifths, 4 fifths. So we're going to add 4 fifths plus 
one fifth, two fifths, three fifths. So we're going to add four fifths plus three fifths. Now, since our denominators are the same, that means that we can now add our numerators. Four plus three equals seven, and their denominators stayed the same, which is five. So we have seven fifths. Now we can check our work by counting the fifths in our picture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven fifths. Let's try another practice problem together. As you can see, we have a fraction bar on the screen. Five sevenths of our fraction bar is shaded in, and I want you to subtract three sevenths from this fraction bar. Well, let's go ahead and get started. If we have five sevenths shaded in, and we're going to take away three sevenths of the fraction bar, we need to cross out three sevenths. So we have one seventh, two sevenths, three sevenths of our fraction bar crossed out. And now that's going to leave us with two sevenths. We have one, two sevenths left over. Now, just like addition, where we added our numerators, with subtraction, we're just going to subtract our numerators. 5 minus 3 equals 2, and our denominator stays the same because we did not change the number of pieces we had in the whole. Let's go ahead and review what you've learned in today's lesson. When you're adding fractions, the first thing that you need to do is check the denominators to make sure that they are the same. If the denominators are the same, then you're going to be writing your answer with that same denominator. And then you can add your numerators. 4 plus 3 equals 7. So 4 fifths plus 3 fifths equals 7 fifths. When you're subtracting fractions, you're going to start by looking at your denominator to make sure it's the same. And if it's the same, then you're going to bring that denominator over. And then you can subtract your numerators. 6 minus 1 equals 5. So 6 eighths minus one-eighth equals five-eighths. 